Hello friends, in this lesson we will be discussing about safe driving tips. Driving safely in low light and at night. Visibility on the roadway is decreased at night and just before sunrise or after sunset. As visibility decreases, your risk of being in a collision increases. To lessen risk, you must decrease how reduce light limits visibility and how to manage the driving task in low light conditions. How do low light conditions affect visibility? Your ability to see and to be diminishes when the amount of available light is lessened. At night, darkness limits your view of the road ahead and the surrounding area. Even with your headlights on, your ability to see ahead when turning or driving around a curve is severely reduced. How can you drive safely when the amount of light is low? To drive safely in low light conditions, you must maximize visibility and manage time and space wisely. When your view of the road is limited, slow down. Maximize your ability to see and maneuver. Always keep your low beam headlights on day and night during dusk and down hours. Use your headlights either from sunset to sunrise or between a half hour after sunset and a half hour before sunrise. Using your headlights makes it easier to see and be seen in the dim light of dusk and down. Don't use your parking lights. At night, night driving requires extra concentration and a greater level of awareness. With darkness limiting visibility, it is wise to drive more slowly at night than you do during the day and to leave more distance between your car and the car ahead. Use low beams and high beams correctly. On very dark roads with no other cars around, use your high beams to increase visibility. Be sure to switch back to low beams as soon as you spot the headlight or tail lights of a car ahead of you. The glare of your high beams can momentarily blind an other driver. Don't overdrive your headlights. At night, drive at a speed that will allow you to stop within the range of your lights that is within the distance you can see. Driving faster than that is called overdriving your headlights and makes you vulnerable to unseen hazards. At night, use the 3 or 4 seconds rule. 3 seconds rule First, select a fixed object on the road ahead such as a sign, tree or overpass. When the vehicle ahead of you passes the object, slowly count 1, 1000, 2, 1000, 3, 1000. If you reach the object before completing the count, you are following too closely. Making sure there are 3 seconds between you and the car ahead gives you time and distance to respond to problems in the lane ahead of you. How can you drive safely in the glare of the sun? Windshield is clean, have sunglasses handy, reduce speed, increase your following distance, reduce speed, Increase your following distance, adjust your sun visor to block out the sun. The glare may make it more difficult to the drive behind you to see your brake lights or directional signals, so tap your brake lights. Prepare in advance, allow for extra margin of safety, drive in the tracks of the vehicle ahead of you. Give other drivers plenty of advance notice. Be alert. Keep your low beam headlights on. 
ease your way into turns and curves how can you minimize risk in snow and rain anticipate and prevent skids if you change speed or direction gradually and smoothly rather than abruptly you will minimize the risk of skidding anticipate and prevent hydroplaning during the first 10 to 15 minutes of a rainfall the roads are at their slickest the car may be completely lose contact with the road and be moving on a thin film of water this is called hydroplaning hydroplaning is very dangerous because it severely limits your ability to control your car to reduce the chance of hydroplaning reduce speed by about 1/3 when driving on wet roadways how can you minimize risk in other hazardous weather conditions fog or smoke low beam headlights are essential when driving in fog or smoke sand and dust if possible avoid driving in sand storms and dust storm if you are caught in such a storm signal pull of the road turn on your emergency flashers and wait for the storm to pass wind under windy conditions reduce speed and grip the steering wheel firmly to maintain control of your car leave extra space between your car and nearby vehicles especially those that are likely to be affected by the wind depending on the size and weight of the car you are driving high winds can be nuisance or downright dangerous wind can buffet car traveling on a highway like boats toss in stormy seas a strong enough gust of wind can actually push a lightweight car right out of its lane this was the discussion about safe driving tips thank you